The other way to install a GNU GCC compiler on a Windows machine is to use the MySys2 uh, package manager. So we can find the package manager on mysys2.org website. This is by far one of the best way to install any open source uh, GNU tools on a window machine without compiling the tools from scratch. So we have uh, the 64-bit and the 32-bit installer. We can, I will choose the 64-bit and download it and save it to my desktop. Since I already downloaded the installer, I will cancel this, go to my desktop and run the installer, follow the steps and wait until it finishes installing the package manager. The installation has been completed. I will click on finish. Then the next step is to go to my desktop and run the package manager. So I'll go down to find a folder named MySys64, MySys264, which is this one. Then click on either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. I'm going to choose the 64-bit version. So I will pin it to my start menu, which I already did since I already installed it before. And let me unpin this one, pin it again. And I will start the program. So I will get a, a command prompt or a terminal. So let me make it bigger. So I will click on, right click on here, options, choose text, bigger font. I'll choose the bigger, bigger font here. Let's look for this one. Let's make the size 14, apply it, okay. Window size, uh, column wise, let's make it 100 and apply this, save it, close it, open it again. Now we have a bigger window. So here um, we can install our GNU GCC compiler but first we need to uh, update our uh, package manager. So in order to do that, if you go to the website, once you finish installing, it will tell you how to update the package manager using this command. So that is pacman caps lock s y u. So I'm gonna do that, dash capital letter S and small letter Y U. So this will, I believe we'll, we'll go to the database um, check if there is any update to be done and uh, we'll install it on your system as you can see it has finished updating the package manager it's asking us to close the terminal or the command prompt I think it's the terminal and uh, open it again so I'll do that close it say ok then go back to my win start menu and then open the package manager again and I will, the next step is to uh, use pacman s without y, only u. So I'm going to do that pacman s u, just like that. And um, yes, and we will wait until it finishes installing the package. Now it has um, fully updated our MySys2 package manager. The next step is to install the GNU GCC compiler. Uh, to do that, we need to search for the GNU compiler on our MySys database, MySys2 database. To do that, we will use the same command, which is pacman s, and the next um, flag is small letter s, and then we type the first three or four letters of the package that we want to install. In my case, it's a GC GCC compiler, so I'll type GCC and press enter and it will search the database for um, any package that contains the word GCC and it will dump it on your um, terminal. So as you can see I have a lot of um, package here. So I'm looking for the 64-bit version. So anywhere you see i686 is the 32-bit version so I will ignore that part and I'll go for um, the x86 underscore 64. In this case, this one looks like the G GNU GCC compiler. The rest of them are Ada, Fortran. I don't need those ones for now. So I will select this one, which is this one. So the package name is this. I will copy this and I will type clear and I will type pacman dash s and to install it all you have to do is use the flag u and paste the name of the package which is this one we don't need this part this part is the package version number so we don't need that one 
you always install the most recent and the newest package available on the database and I will press enter then it says that it will take it will download 58 megabyte file after installation it will take 427 megabyte space so I'll say yes since I chose this package this package installs everything it doesn't leave any or it's not specific it's the name is for all GCC or GNU compiler um, compilers available in this package so I'll press enter then I will wait until it finishes com installing the package downloading and installing the package as you can see uh, the MySys package manager has installed the GNU GCC compiler uh, the best thing about MySys2 package manager is that we don't have to worry about the uh, uh, dependencies any depend dependencies that is needed for the package that we are in installing uh, will be installed automatically uh, by the mysys2 package manager so for example if i go back and type pack man uh, dash s s i'm going to search for gcc again so as you can see over here we have installed this package and it says in here it's already installed and then if I want for example to search for another package let's say I want to install GMP so I will do pacman gmp this will come up if it is not installed I can choose for for example this is for Python so I can I'm looking for the so for the C C++ version so this is the one I can either use the developer version which is this one or the linking library which is this one I can also install if I want uh, GTK 2 I think 3 so that is done by using pacman dash s s GTK so we have uh, many different packages so we have to go through and look for the one that we are looking for so I'm assuming this is the one the 64-bit version GTK3 widget no not this one but anyways yeah we have a lot of packages that we can um, carefully choose and install on our system and then use it for a uh, project so this is how you use the mysys2 package manager the next step is um, um, how to um, use the GCC GNU GCC compiler so as you can see in here in my mysys package manager command terminal I can type GCC and I can dump the version and I can see I have version 9.2 I can also try G++ same thing but if I go to my command terminal or this Windows CMD command prompt and if I type GCC dash V it's not recognized because we need to um, put the path for our GCC compiler on our environment variable on our path environment variable in order to do that we have seen this when we installed the mingw uh, compiler on our system so we have to go to our start menu look for command or um, control panel uh, system system again here and look for advanced system uh, settings and we will click on environment variables then we look for a system variable called path which is this one double click on it then we come to our uh, C drive or C folder click on it so our mysys package are installed in mysys64 folder so double click on that and as you can see I have the mingw64 and 32 bit version so I'll choose since we installed the 64 ver uh, bit version so we will I will choose the mingw64 if we are not sure we can even right click on it and then check the size of the file as you can see it's 868 megabyte like if I check the 32 bit version it's 912 byte so I'll open the mingw64 the bin folder then I will come to the top here click on it I copy the path I go to the edit environment variable page I'll click on new paste it here and OK then I'll go back to my um, mysys folder or my c drive i'll go up one folder again one more then this time i need to install all the command line um, this is optional we don't need to do it if you do if you do if you do not want to use the linux um, terminal commands that is available also on uh, the mysys64 
pack that is that was made available by the my 664 bit um package manager so i have to choose usr folder then bin so here i have all the basic linux um command terminal programs that i can use on my windows system so i will select this path copy it close this go to my environment variable editor so i'll choose i think i closed it so i'll choose the path variable then i'll go come at the bottom here click on new paste it here paste press ok ok here ok close this one now if i go to my command prompt and type i have to close it first and open it again and if i type gcc dash v i have the compiler available the gnu gcc compiler available and if i type g plus plus again here dash v this is also available i can use clear cls and i can use ls here for example if i want to remove clear cls this let's say i want to remove this file from my system i can use the linux command rm which is also available in i think in the command prompt but it is called delete del but i'm going to use the rm the linux version i have to go to the desktop first then rm msys just like that i can remove any file so yeah so this is how we set it up on our environment variable so we can access the GNU GCC compiler and the basic Linux command programs from our um, uh, command prompt or Windows CMD.